Hey, what's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here. Today I wanna to go over how you can actually change the layout of your Fire TV uh, device setup as far as where your apps look. Um, this app is actually called TV Launcher 3. Uh, it's been around for quite some time. This is 3.11, uh, so this is the newest version of it. Uh, it's been in the App Store um, for a while, it's the Google Play App Store, um, and I just stumbled across it from a couple of other people as well that kind of showed me the launcher, and it works really well, so I thought I'd share it with you all as well. Um, but what it's going to do, is going to actually make your Fire TV device kind of look more like an Android TV box or things like that the same type of layout where it's kind of everything's there kind of have those nice elongated blocked app icons and it's nice and clean and it gives you the ability to kind of move apps around and categorize them based on you know what the type what type of app it is whether or not you have a live tv app a movie and tv show app or even a utility app uh, you can kind of categorize all that in a nice clean layout that i really really like so let's go ahead and dive right into it all right, so once you actually click on it or get it installed, um, your layout is not going to look exactly like mine. It's going to have a pre-set up layout for you. Um, but as you can see here, um, at the top, you have your categories that you can actually kind of set up all your apps with um, for like live TV, movie TV show. If you have web apps, utilities, and things like that, you can do all that here. So I'm going to show you guys how to set all that up. Um, so... The cool thing about this is that everything is here. So I know a lot of times on the Fire Stick, especially with the update, um, you do kind of lose the ability to see all of your apps for whatever reason. Your apps are hidden. Some apps are hidden. Some apps are available to be seen, especially like the Pluto TV app. If you've downloaded that from the Amazon App Store, for whatever reason, um, once it's downloaded and let's say you restart your Fire Stick or you turn it off, turn it back on, it just disappears. It's still on there, but you can't see it actually in that all apps section. So um, this is really cool. It actually will pull all the apps found on your Fire TV device for you to choose from. All right. So once you get here, you want to go ahead and start setting up your categories. So at the top left corner you'll see that icon there with three horizontal lines you're going to go ahead and click on that it's going to bring up the menu here so uh, you have manage sections themes settings so the first thing i like to do is to set up my theme all right so you go to your theme and then you notice that it's on normal and I kept mine on normal as well. The only thing I did differently was I changed my theme from light to dark. So when your app is first coming on or you first boot it up, it's going to be in a light uh, theme. You want to go ahead and switch that to dark. It looks cleaner. It's better on your eyes. And it looks better on your TV as well. Um, section icons. If you want icons, you can. I prefer the wording. Um, but you can't have section icons versus the words. So what that means is that you can have maybe different symbols and things like that to kind of um, pretty much show off your categories. Uh, for the apps that you're using and then you have your grid columns here the number of columns you're going to have on your home screen you can adjust this to whatever you want i just kept mine at three um, after that you go back to menu then you're going to go to settings all right so there's a couple of things here this is all your own preference you can add an application wallpaper so if you have a wallpaper already on your fire tv device um, already saved in like es file explorer something like that you can actually upload it there or you can change the wallpaper. What I did though in this section was I added the space animation background, which is that really cool star space animation uh, that just kind of sets it off a little bit more. Um, is if you don't want to add a background or if you don't know how to add wallpaper, um, you can just go ahead and do this and it's really clean, it's really cool. And uh, you simply turn it on and make sure you have animations turned on as well. And then you have your lock home screen um, you don't really need to do this at all. And then underneath here, you have the remove ads and support the developer. Again, the developer took the time to do this. So if you guys find this app to be amazing, definitely support uh, the developer as well. Um, but that's pretty much it for that part. And then up at the top is the most important part, which is your create sections. So this is where you can kind of create your own category or sections for your apps to make it nice and clean and make it easy to find everything. So mine are a little different. Um, you'll probably see the ones that are already pre-set up there. You can actually go in and change them. So let's say that IPTV was there first. If you click on IPTV, you can actually go and click name and you can change the name of that section there. And when you're done, you can hit save and it's done. You go back here. If you want to create a new section, you can. Uh, it's all up to you um, based on how you want to set up your um, your uh, menu icons and things like that. You can go ahead and set up that entire layout there based on what app is going to go where. Okay, so that's how you set that up.
I have mine pretty much listed as IPTV, live TV, movies and TV shows, web, and utilities. These are all the apps that I have, and I feel like this is the best way to categorize the apps I have on my Fire TV device. All right, so I want you to go, you go ahead and do that. You go ahead and back to home screen, and here is all of my categories based on the apps I'm going to put there. So to add an app, you're going to simply go down underneath the category you're going to add the app to and click on the plus sign, and then here is where you'll select your applications. So you'll cl click on application and then all of the applications on your Fire TV device will pop, will populate here. And you can actually go ahead and, and add the apps that you want to add based on the category. So I have live TV or IPTV here. So I'm going to put here are my two IPTV players, which I've already added. And then once you're done, you just go ahead and go back. And then there's your IPTV player apps. Same thing for live TV. I have all my live TV apps here. My movies and TV show apps are here. And again, it's just really nice and clean. It's something cool to kind of add to your Fire TV device to kind of set it off for everybody else's. And it kind of creates that conversation piece, especially if you have friends over or family members over, you can kind of show them off, uh, show off your Fire TV device to them and show them, hey, check out what I got going on here. So uh, it's really cool to have, and it makes it easy too. So sometimes it's hard, especially now with the update where you cannot shift around apps and things like that. Um, it makes it easier to f navigate and find things quicker. Um, the another cool thing is that on your remote, if you click on that button with the three horizontal lines on your remote, not on the actual TV launcher app, but on your remote, if you click on that and you hover over an app, you have the ability to reposition the app. So let's say you want Puffin Browser to be first instead of the other one you can, uh, and you can create a background for it. Um, this is only if you have uh, wallpapers on your device as well. Um, you can uninstall it from your Fire TV device and say you don't want it anymore, you can uninstall it completely, or you can move it to a different category or you can remove it just from this category. So let's say you made a mistake and added the wrong app to that category. You just simply go to remove and you can take it right out and start over again. So um, it's pretty much got everything covered. Again, with all the things happening with the Fire TV device updates and things like that, um, this kind of brings back the ability to categorize things and move things around. So it's really good to have. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is over here in the top right corner. If you click on that waffle icon there with the four, the nine squares, um, you have access to all of your apps as well. It's kind of like an app drawer that you see on the Android uh, phone or Android tablet device. Um, so you can still have access to all your apps right here as well. So you don't have to worry about not ever being able to see them again. They're all right here again. And you can categorize them by alphabet. You can filter certain apps out. You can change your view to list view or grid view. I prefer grid view, um, but it's all up to you how you want to set this up. But again, the name of this app is called TV Launcher 3. Uh, it's free. Um, it's available on my file link store as well. So all you need to do is just go into my file link. And I'll have a link in the description as well for the actual app and the file link code and how to get file linked on your Fire TV device if you don't already have it. Um, but it's great. Uh, it's awesome. I definitely use it now pretty much every single day. I no longer use the app section of the Fire TV device. I just simply go straight to this app and function straight from here. Um, so it's really good to have. Definitely check it out. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video. Everything that I discussed in this video will be in the description. Uh, comment below if you found this launcher to be awesome or amazing, or if you found a better one than this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And also guys, please subscribe to my channel. Help me to build this channel up to something big. I do all this for you guys. Um, so please help support on this channel and help it to continue to grow. And also guys, check out my Facebook page as well. Facebook.com slash MacGyver7. If you've missed any videos, um, I definitely post my videos there as well. So if you missed anything or if you're trying to stay up to date on some things, definitely check out my Facebook page as well. But that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Perfect.